couple of corporate conversations. Firstly, in the hotel space, foreigners are flying into India by the plane full and rising disposable income in India means more travelers. Uh, the one sector that's cashing in on people's wanderlust is the hospitality space. Joining us now to talk about this in more detail is Vishal Kamath, director at Kamath Hotels, joined me right now on the show. Vishal, good having you. Thanks so much for joining in. The perception is that the last two or three months have been very good for, or more importantly, the, the leisure traveler holiday a hotel space, but arguably even for the business hotel space. What has your experience been the last three odd months? Our experience has been fairly good. Uh, like I've been saying before, uh, business space is only if businesses do well and want to spend money. Uh, that's because if they do their regular meets, dealer meets, cycle meets, and they've been doing all that and more. In fact, uh, we found that this year has been better than last year. Last year, we were affected by highway ban, so companies were not. Uh, you see, if you can't entertain your guests, why would you do an event? So liquor ban, which was uh, 500 meters, which was quite unjust in cities, that has now only uh, been restricted to actual highways. So those kind of things, then various other things had affected us in the last uh, year, same quarter. But this year it has been good. So definitely leisure also has been very good. A lot of people have been doing a lot of domestic holidays because the dollar has become so expensive. Holiday wise then India also looks again attractive. And uh, the GST effect also has been subdued to quite a bit. So I think overall it's been a good space for the hospitality. Mm, interesting. Uh, have ARRs gone up, uh, Vishal? Uh, we were talking to Lemon Tree the other day. And while he was saying that uh, hotels with a larger chain presence are probably faring better, but just specifically on the ARRs, have they really improved dramatically in the last quarter or in the, in the current quarter, which is the April, May, June quarter? I don't agree with that statement that uh, larger chains are benefiting. What I do agree is that if a hospitality player, an individual standalone or a chain, if he's giving you an experiential product and the person is willing to pay for the product, which many people are today, more than glamour, they want experience. And I think that is where a lot of the hospitality players are winning, whether they are chain or standalone. And uh, that's something which has definitely helped the, the business. Uh, addition to that, ARR is a function of the market. In some markets, yes, ARR have gone up. In in some markets is being stagnant but definitely it's not come down that's the good part the worst case scenario has been a stagnant one or maybe a, when I say stagnant I mean even a five seven percent I don't think is a movement it's a stagnant for me uh, maybe for someone else it might not be but yes in the case of uh, experiential products there have been like Fort Jadavgad doing exceedingly well Lotus Konak doing exceedingly well these are experiential products uh, more than just a commercial commercial thing so definitely we've seen some improvements there but so, more we focus on is the occupancy because it's not important how good your ARR is, it's important how the revenue is. Okay, how has the occupancy been? Occupancies have been very robust uh, in especially our Mumbai hotels. Even Pune has shown a great increase in occupancy. We've been also able to do a lot of improvements through use of technology and uh, in cash on our Orchid Rewards program, which has a lot of members uh, in it. So a lot of repeat customer has come through these various programs and uh, they've been working for us. Okay, so I, I take on board that occupancies have improved, ARRs marginally up, all of which should lead to probably a better quarter. Before I come to the sector at large, just one small question. Uh, if I just look at what the trend for you as a player has been, at least on the standalone numbers that I ha have at hand, you've improved uh, marginally over the last six quarters. I believe in quarter three, FI 17, you did a revenue of about 44 odd crores. You've taken it up to about 50 odd crores in quarter four of FI 18, at least the standalone numbers. When does the next leg up in revenue come in, which, which takes you to a slightly different orbit from where you are right now, Vishal. So, Neeraj, that's a very good question and that's something which many of our investors, many of our shareholders and even we ask ourselves that what is the next step? The next step is basically obviously to grow and for that there are certain things which we need to do to grow. Uh, uh, today we've come out from a, a certain cycle, we have been stabilizing our company. Uh, that is something which itself was a great uh, effort because looking at how the scenarios were. So definitely in the coming time we are looking at various asset light come our own acquisitions at the right time. Right now is not particular the right time though there are uh, many uh, such uh, deals uh, which we can read in the papers nowadays of various funds investing in and looking at opportunities for hotels so we have to work that out mm. uh, so I mean so you are saying that while the industry is rife with 
uh, likely deals that will happen between funds and hotels or hotels and hotels, Kamath Hotels as a company is staying away from that space currently. We have to first stabilize ourselves and uh, make many things better before we can take the next step up. So definitely, we have, at the right time, we will definitely look at these opportunities. Do you think consolidation is the nature of uh, the play right now? I mean, again, I refer back to a conversation that I was having with one of your peers who did seem to believe that some of the smaller properties will get absorbed into the larger chains. See, I don't know whether that will happen or not. Our industry is not like a steel or a, you know power where it's a it's a highly fragmented industry and it's a highly ego driven industry. Today, even if you are a owner of a forty room hotel, you are an owner yourself. Now, whether there is a person like me who has twelve hundred rooms or whether he has forty rooms, he's an owner. So the need for him to consolidate or merge into something larger is very low. Because it's his prestige also at stake. You know, I, why should I? I'm also doing from last 30 years. So I think consolidation in our industry is not the same way as what you'd see in telecom or power or uh, you know any other more mature and less uh, frag fragmented industry. So I don't think consolidation is uh, something which will happen in large. I mean, very rarely you have a Marriott Starwood kind of affiliation, and that also happened at a global level. On an Indian level, if somebody analyst can point out to me, I'd be very interested to look into it. <laughs> Okay, Vishal, uh, we'll, we'll wait and watch and we'll probably talk to you post your quarterly numbers as well. Thank you so much for joining us today and um, Thank you. Ha have a good quarter.